Hey everybody, welcome to episode two of Fasted Workouts. And yes, I bought a bike, a bicycle, if uh, you couldn't tell from the beginning. So I am not new to bikes. I've actually owned a bike for quite a while. But uh, when I moved to LA last year, you know, I had to sell what I had because I was trying to carry the least amount of stuff on me. But even before I sold that last one, the other one I had for years got stolen right in front of uh, my apartment building. That's my fault for locking it up overnight. Uh, bikes get stolen in the city of Chicago a lot. And uh, anyway, I thought, what, you know, no better time than to get a bike than now. So I actually am loving it, but uh, I'm also realizing how how bad my endurance is. Even after losing all this weight, it's something that I know I'll have to build up um, as time goes on, but we'll talk about that. So we're gonna go back as far as uh, June 28th because I am gonna try to document all of the workouts I do um, from here on out since I am now trying to build muscle and work on new body parts. So <laughs> that sounds weird, work on new body parts. But uh, when we start off with June 28th, that was a Sunday and that was actually a rest day. One thing I'm gonna try to do now, because for a while I was walking seven days a week, about three and a half to four miles a day. And now that I have switched my fasting from 90 hours to 65, now that I get to eat an extra day, I also said, hey, um, you know, let's try to find a balance instead of always going all out. And so now I'm incorporating at least uh, once a week to have a rest day. So on Sunday, June 28th, I took a rest day. During hour 32 of being fasted, I went for a four mile walk and that lasted about an hour and 10 minutes. Just for anyone who's wondering, these walks aren't anything special. I take them at a very leisurely pace. There's barely any jogging or anything like strenuous on my walks. It's just something I enjoy doing and uh, I get the added benefit of exercise. So uh, later that day, hour 40, I decided to skip rope. I think it was raining that day. So uh, this is something I am still really having a hard time doing. It also gets me tired pretty quickly, but uh, I did about six to eight minutes skipping rope. I don't really, it's, Sometimes I'll, I'll start doing it and then a minute or two in, I'm already exhausted. <laughs> so like I'll take, you know, a quick break and I'll, I'll keep going again. But I'm still having uh, trouble getting the rhythm down. You know, there was somebody on Instagram that DM'd me and showed me a video uh, to kind of help with my form. And so that's helped a lot, but I'm still having uh, quite a bit of uh, difficulty with it. But I think as I keep doing that, um, I will get better. And then uh, hour 42, I ended up doing 40 push-ups. I know somebody in the comments uh, on my first episode had said, maybe try not to flare your elbows out too much. So I tried doing that and I realized it's so much harder that way as well. But uh, I did 40 push-ups and I did them in like either groups of 10 or groups of five. And uh, I just kept going until I got 40 completed. I was sore for the first couple days when I did uh, in the first episode, I did 50 and uh, I was I was sore all over like my upper chest, my shoulders and even my upper back. But um, as I've been doing them now, they, they seem to be getting a bit easier until someone mentioned the flaring of the elbows. And uh, that's actually added a bit more difficulty to it. Now, I still flare them out. I'm not I. I think as I get more tired, it's it's harder to kind of keep them in, but I'm trying, so keep that in mind. And then on June 30th, hour 56 of being fasted, I went for a 10 mile bike ride and that was about a 45 minute um, time frame. And the first thing I noticed is how, um, how weak my legs were when I was riding uh, my bike. Uh, when I got home and I went up stairs, I knew like when I was going up the stairs, I felt so weak, like I could barely walk up the stairs. And that's when I knew that uh, it, it felt good knowing that I was working on something new. And uh, I'm excited to, to keep doing this and, and try to build up muscle, uh, I guess, on my quads. And I'm sure other other muscles as well, probably core as well. But um, I'm sure I'll figure that out as I as I keep uh 
progressing bike riding. And then to end it off on hour 65, I did another six to eight minutes uh, of rope work. And so that was my workout for those 65 hours. I refed and then I immediately went back into another 65 hour fast. So on July 1st, I think this is uh, 10 hours of being fasted. I again went for another four mile walk and about an hour and 10 minutes or so. I know these are going to sound kind of repetitive, so I'm trying to figure out a way to really streamline what I'm doing. But I think as these episodes, you know, as, as I get more used to describing what I'm doing, I think I'll find a more streamlined way of doing this. And then the next day at uh, 34 hours of being fasted, I went for another four mile walk again, about the same time frame, And then 42 hours of being fasted, I did uh, 30 push-ups. Now, I meant to do a lot more working out in between these two days, but I have been so busy with work. I have a lot of projects going on and it's kind of made me realize I need to reprioritize what's important to me. Um, and when my working out kind of gets affected, I feel like that's that that was more of a wake up call for me where I was like, hey, I might be taking on too much right now. And uh, I feel like scaling back on some of my work is what's going to have to happen, which I think is important because my health has to come number one. That's something I've told myself time and time again is um, my health, my mentality, like my, my sanity, uh, that needs to be in check before I can move on with anything else. So uh you know, that's something I keep in mind. I'm just sharing this with everybody here for transparency, but uh, it might also just be, you know, words that you might want to keep uh, with you when you're trying to figure things out, uh, I guess. You know, I, I don't know if everybody puts health as their priority, but it's it's up there for me. It has been now for some time. And uh, there, the last thing I want is to ever let um, my fasting my working out, the, the, the mentality of, you know, where I'm at being in a good place. I don't want any of that to slip at this point that, that has to stay number one before anything else. And then July 3rd, which is today, hour 57, I think I went for another 10 mile bike ride. And again, it was about 45 ish minutes felt good. Um, my my uh my quads were pretty weak again after uh, I got off that bike, but I felt I felt really good. The one thing I've noticed when I compare cardio between my bike rides and my walks is uh my heart rate when I'm riding my bike is around 150 or something like that. It averages around there. When I'm walking, it's around 110, something like that. It's much lower, so I know I'm getting you know, a more physical workout, um, bike riding. I, I just don't think I can help pedaling the way I do. It's, it's fun to do and it's fun to just ride around. And, uh, those were my workouts for those two 65 hour fasts. Uh, I will be ending my next 65 hour fast later today. And then, uh, I'll have another episode of fasted workouts. I am trying to figure out how to really get this whole, uh, series going. So, you know, it's in the works. Hopefully it was uh, useful and entertaining. There are a lot of other exercises I want to start incorporating. I was thinking about buying resistance bands, but I got to figure out which are good ones. Like as much as I want to buy dumbbells, I just, I'm not going to buy a whole, you know, set and just have them all over uh, the place. So I got to figure out other ways of trying to build muscle, but um there's also core stuff I want to work on, trying to figure out how to like do ab work, but we'll save all of that for future episodes. There's so much when it comes to working out. Also, uh, really quick, you know, I don't want to, I said this in the first episode, I don't want to uh, focus on weight here and the number on the scale because uh, that is the thing I'm trying to move away from. I think what's more important is just, you know, keeping consistent losing body fat or excess body fat and gaining muscle. And then finally, before I go, I wanted to give a shout out to Eric for being the newest patron on my Patreon. Eric, thank you so much, man, for the support. I do appreciate it. I, I do have a Patreon, guys. Uh, if you do want to support me in that way, it helps offset costs. It helps uh, continue to do what I'm doing. And, um, you know, 
even if you can't, I know times are tough just for everyone to be here and like and, you know, subscribe and, and you know, even share uh, the video. It's it's great. Um, any kind of support is is helpful and it's uh, encouraging and inspiring for me to keep doing what I'm doing. So um, if you do want to check out the Patreon, though, uh, I will leave a link in the description or you can go to patreon.com forward slash finally fasting. With that being said, I think that's it. A new episode of Breakfast is coming soon. Uh, hopefully this series is, again, helpful and informative. If there's something that I can do to kind of change it up, let me know. I will uh, definitely consider it. Otherwise, that's it. <laughs> so I'll see you in the next episode of probably Breakfast. So I'll see you guys soon. Take it easy. Bye.